Hello there, how are you? We are at Bakerist Terrace, which is a part of Bakerist Center for Geriatric Care in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And I'm Howard Paul Shore. And with me, I have Katie Cohen and Bernice Riley. And we're going to be talking a little bit about their life and, you know, different things about them. And today is uh, Tuesday, July the uh, 18th already. Oh my goodness, the month is going fast. 2017, and here we go. It's a pleasure to be in your home, Kitty. You're welcome. I love your home. I love it too. <laughs> Kitty, tell everybody how old you are, the truth. The truth is, I'm 104 and a half. Isn't that a wonderful blessing? You're I blessed. I am truly blessed. Yes. And uh, I, I thank my Creator for giving me this life, for enabling me to reach this day. Yeah, you've done very well. I want to know what is your secret to longevity. Everybody has a secret on what they do or don't do. I just tell everybody that you got to make up your mind what you want to do and do it. You say that you can and you will. Yeah, that sounds That's good. That's my fault. Say that you can and you will. Somebody today said, you want it? Yes. They couldn't change my mind. One thing is you need to keep active, right? Keeping yeah. active. Keep, 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 keep going. Yeah. Yes. Keep moving. Exactly. Because, keep moving. you know, not everybody gets to have such a, a long life and many people just don't take care of themselves. But I, by, by the way you look, you look pretty sharp. Thank you. Yes. I'd like to look sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Kitty, it looks to me like you are a fan of the Blue Jays. Tell me about the Blue Jays. Well, I'll tell you. I did a lot of walking for cancer. So cancer one day went over to um, Rogers and suggested that I throw the ball at the opening of that season. So I practiced raising my leg and moving my heart. And then when I got down there on it was Mother's Day, May 11th, I was able to throw the ball. And the guy, his name was Josh Thole, T-H-O-L-E. He caught it, and everybody I would be having two at cheering if I was there. <laughs> <laughs> so they gave me this. That is so nice. And Bernie, um, you are her dear daughter. That's my dear daughter. Yes. Were you there on the day that she threw the ball? No, me and how many other people? <laughs> so many. Oh, that was yeah, everybody, everybody came. came. Yeah, and then two years later, she ran the bases with um, John Gibbons, the manager of the Blue Jays, and there were 50 of us there watching her, cheering her on. Look at that. And I bet you got a lot of nice pictures, huh? He told me he was going to get, make me a member of the team because I ran faster than them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I bet, I bet after that, after you threw the ball, you must have had a lot of fans that day, huh? A lot of fans. A lot of people know me, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm one more. Did that, no. that must have gone to the newspaper, yes? Uh, Several, and it was all over the states. Oh so my. many things, so many things. That is just such a blessing. I, I, I'm sorry that I wasn't there, but I will go on YouTube tonight and I'll watch it. Yeah, turn into some channel and you'll find me. Yeah, go on to YouTube, check out Kitty Cohen, yeah. Toronto Blue Jays, and you'll find her. It's May, May 11th. May 11th. Of what year? What year? Nineteen four, twenty fourteen. Well, okay, okay, That's just a few years ago. Three years ago, yeah. Very nice. So tell me about your life. You know, what was it like growing up? Did you grow up in Toronto, or where did you grow up? No, I was born in a little town called Midland. Okay. On Georgian Bay. Oh. A little bit northwest of here, and my family decided to make a change, and on March twenty three. 1913, we moved into Toronto. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was 1923, yeah. So I've been here a long time. That's right. And uh, Toronto's my home. And how I got into this place is a mystery because I fought against leaving my condo 
and can we to live this way. But I did it, and I think I did, made a good choice because I started deteriorating. I started getting uh, vertigo, oh. which means that I don't walk so straight, and my head is, and I hear a lot of noises, so I'm, I'm okay. I'm looked after. My guardian angel here. Yep. And, you, and you still do a lot of walking, huh? Like oh today. <laughs> where, t tell the audience, where did you walk from today? How far did you walk? Um, uh, well, if you know 4266 Bathurst, you'll find out how far it is from 4266 Bathurst <laughs> to 55 Amir. Would you believe that my mother lives at 4266 Bathurst? Is she really? Yeah, right? she's on, this, on the second floor. Yeah, I, I I'm serious, yeah. Is she gone? Is what? Is your mother gone? <laughs> no, she's still alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's still, she's still there, yeah. Oh, yeah, my mother's 86, and uh, she lives, she's been living there for probably maybe 20 years. Yeah, 20 years. Oh, yeah, my. yeah, yeah. It's a nice building. It's, yeah, yeah. My mother just has to do more walking because she's not in the best condition, but she has to, she has to keep moving like you. Maybe she'll walk with you sometime, right? <laughs> Okay. Why not? I'll make a date with her. Yeah, walk from Shepherd of Bathurst all the way to, you know, down to here. <laughs> if she can do it, you know. Uh, if you haven't done it, it's not easy to start. Yeah, you have to. You know, you have to start way, way back as I did. And I learned to appreciate moving my legs and getting to places without help. Is that transportation? That's great. Yeah. And besides walking, I understand that you're a good dancer. I love dancing. Oh, it's my. I love to dance. What's your favorite type of dance? I think I like the mambo. Okay. But I love square dancing too. Oh, yes. Oh, I love square dancing. Yeah. I, I wish you can give us a sample. <laughs> well, we need some more people. And some music. <laughs> and the music. And uh, it, it's a wonderful way to go. You meet some wonderful people. And the act. The atmosphere is perfect. No smoking. Nobody can smoke when you're square dancing. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Um, do you cook, or did you cook when you were younger? Do you like cooking? I, I took cooking lessons. Yeah, I went to a Central Technical School. Oh. I loved, I loved um, combining things, making it. I made Jello, a lovely jelly mold. <laughs> oh, that sounds. And, uh, I, I enjoyed her cooking, yeah. and my daughter's a good cook. Yeah. 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 What are some of your hobbies? Did you ever travel, and do you still travel? Oh my goodness, yes. yeah, I love to travel. Take me to Hawaii and let me. <laughs> you know, let me hula, you know. Uh, You've been there, huh? You've been, yes? Six times. Oh my god. Yeah, playing the ukulele, you know, getting your hair done, I was gardenias. Good way, good way, place to be. Bernard, did you go with her? No, I not. didn't, but my daughter did. <laughs> well, she's got to go to Hawaii, and I'll even go with you. That's a deal. Yeah. So that's a nice place. Yeah. Oh. What What about New York City? You got you've been to New York, I take it. I, I've been to. Oh, we had a wonderful time. Tell them about our date with the Meredith. We were invited to go with Meredith of the Vieira. Rene Riviera, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we did. And we had a hotel on 47th Street. And we walked and we mingled with the crowd. And we sat and drank coffee while everybody was walking by. And it was an experience, very nice experience. They wanted me to in, uh, eight, uh, re repeat the throw on Rogers Stadium, so that's what I did. Oh. They, they gave me another set, so I have two of everything. <laughs> uh, uh, that's so nice. Yeah. I had a lot of fun since I became a, a VIP. <laughs> yeah. So, so tell me, you've been, you've been living in, in this place for how many years? Uh, five. Oh, just five? Uh, five years. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, my great aunt used to live at Baycrest. Her name was Manya Burden when she was alive, and I was going to ask you if you knew her. Burden. Bur Burden. I think it was Burden, I believe. Manya Burden, I believe. 
No. Not a friend of mine. Mm -mm. No. But she lived in the, the other part of Baycrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big area. Yeah, it's a big, big place. Yeah. So, Lots of people have come and gone. Mm, I'm sure. Yeah. Here, too. Lost a few friends since I've been here. Yeah. In terms of the oldest person living in Baycrest Hospital or Baycrest Terrace, are you the oldest? Are you the oldest person that's living in these? I am the oldest yeah. here, yeah. Yeah. I wonder who the second oldest is after you. Um, I think there's somebody. She might have passed away, but yeah. there was somebody. But they figure that I'm the, the chief of the centenarian. <laughs> Yeah. When you become a centenarian in Canada, don't you get some kind of a letter from the Prime Minister? I got a nice letter from the Queen. Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was a nice letter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What celebrities have you met in Toronto besides the Blue Jays? Have you met any other important celebrities? The future mayor of Toronto, John Tory. Okay. I was invited to um, attend a, an evening called Women of Courage. Okay. And if Mr. Tory was uh, looking for votes, he wasn't yet the mayor. So when he came over to our table, I said, Does your wife know you're out? And he said, I'll <laughs> tell her. <laughs> <laughs> so he got in and he was, and I voted for him. And I think he's a, a very nice gentleman. That's great. When you, when you were growing up, did you um, complete high school? Did you go to college? What kind of career or work were you doing? And education I, did you have? I, I got my matriculation at uh, Harvard, Harvard, and uh, I, I got my business education at Shaw's, and then I went on to get my, earn my VA at York University. At York? Wow. And I graduated, show the picture, 1973. I'm, I'm not sure, where, where am I? Uh, I'm not sure, we'll find it. Well, okay. Uh, that is so I'm, nice. I'm hanging up somewhere. Uh, <laughs> That's great. Yeah. And there's me dancing. Um, every May, we used to dance. The picture over there? At a, a tap dance a festival. Uh-huh. So uh -huh. that's that. Do you want to show the picture? Yeah. Okay. There's a picture over there on the wall uh, of Kitty dancing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Where's my I don't know, Mom. I'll have to find it. <laughs> Isn't it over there? No. Yeah. I'm not sure where it is. That's okay. Maybe after we can take a look. Yeah. It's, it's hanging. It's hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Bernie, what was it like with you growing up with your mom? What was it like? <laughs> How, what kind of mother was she like? Was she a strict mother? Was she liberal? How was she? Well, how, how would you describe yourself? Well, I, I think it was an, an easy relationship. Um, you, you tried not to cause me any trouble. <laughs> I love it. You went to school and continued with your studies, which I appreciated. My two sons also graduated from universities. And then, from that point of view, I feel that I'm a successful mother. When you when you have children who stayed in school and kept out of trouble, then you're a, a fortunate mom. Absolutely. And you are a grandparent and great grandparent. And grandparent, great grandparent too. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I have six grand and three great grand. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of advice would you have for the new generation out there? Because it's so different now than it was in my generation and in yours, if you know what I mean. What would you like to well, say? I would like to tell the government to ban guns. And there's so much drug abuse. Yes. Mm -hmm. in, in, in my growing up days, they didn't know of drugs, but it became very part of popular in the 60s and I think that has look at all the people who have committed suicide as, as a result of despondency um, frustration disappointment and so they take dope and uh, they end their life 
Uh -huh. I think it's so sad. Some of the best stars, I'm thinking about them, Judy Garland, I think of Marilyn Monroe, uh -huh. people who had positive potential and they couldn't take life anymore. I would hate to let, be in that position where I wanted to end my life. I'm goodness, there's so much to living and so much enjoyment to, to give and to receive. So that's what I think. What do you think? I agree, I agree with you, actually. I do agree with you. Do you like your job? I, I love interviewing people like you. How um, long have you been at it? I've been uh, interviewing people for probably, I would say about one year actually, but I've been doing writing and you know reviews and promotions for several years and I just love it. I just love interviewing older people you know, and learning from them. I'm learning from you. Who, who's your boss? <laughs> um, I, I work with Google. I'm a Google guy on, on the internet and I do work with YouTube and do a lot of interviews. I was in Argentina for six months uh -huh. and I interviewed a lot of owners of restaurants and hotels and I led a lot of trips, you know, oh, a lot of tourism. I love tourism. Do you like dancing? Oh, yeah, why not? Yeah, the older stuff. Maybe not, maybe not as far back as you go, but at least to the 80s. Remember the 80s? Saturday Night Fever? <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember? You know, remember Greece and John Travolta and all that? That was fun. That was a lot of fun back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Bernice? Bernice, what would you like to say? I mean, nothing. No, I'm just enjoying the scene. You're letting your mother see everything. <laughs> okay, great. Well, Bernice seems a great volunteer. <laughs> she, she's so obliging. And she has great friendships with uh, the people who belong to Darche Nawang. Mm. Are you familiar with uh, some synagogues? The, the one that I met you at, I met you at the one on Shepherd. Yes. Yes, well, correct. And she does a lot of good work there. And um, so I'm very happy to would recommend her for any, anything that you have to offer her. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Well, listen, um, Kitty Cohen, I want to personally thank you for this very nice interview. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Yes. In, despite <laughs> coming in. Soaking sweat. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine, really. It was well worth the walk. I walked the same distance as you did, so to me, I'm surprised I didn't bump into you on the way. <laughs> but um, I'm so glad to see Bernice. <laughs> <clears throat> and there I was plodding along <laughs> and running too. I was running across the, the uh, road. <laughs> Just to be in a and it makes the trip a little uh, less odious. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, everybody, I just want to let you know that we're still at the Baker's Terrace, which is, again, part of the Baker's Center for Geriatric Care in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And today, once again, is Tuesday, July the 18th, 2017. 18. It's still the 18th? Yeah. I think so. I hope. <laughs> and I'm Howard Paul Shore. I want to thank Kitty Cohen. Would you come again? Would I come visit you again? Why not? Why not? And I want to also thank Bernice Riley for the time that you've all taken to make this wonderful arrangement for me to be here. And um, if you ever come to Baker's Terrace, say hello to Kitty. She's a great person. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye.